Ah, oh, good. You are awake and alive. I was beginning to worry you weren't going to make it. Ah, uh, na, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now, no screaming, little one. I know you humans are frail creatures, but I won't have any of that. Don't worry, I don't intend to eat you. I have no use for meat from such a puny being. Yeah, you humans are far too small and insignificant for me to want to kill. I honestly pity you and your kind. It must be hard living in such a weak and frail body. Ah, I'm sorry. Do my words offend you? <laughs> well, please don't take any offense, dear. I'm only concerned, and I actually quite like humans, despite their weak physique. Something about how vulnerable you are is very endearing. That's probably why I decided to rescue you. Mm-hmm, that's right. You should be grateful to me, human. I was going for a nightly run. Had to get my zoomies out before bed, you know. Anyways, as I was racing through the graveyard, I found your body slumped against a headstone. For a second, I thought I was seeing things, but then I decided to take a closer look and realized you weren't merely an illusion. I won't lie, I did think you were dead at first. I'm sorry, but I mean you were extremely pale. Anyone who had encountered you would have thought the same. But, lucky for you, I am not just anyone. I am a hellhound and a smart one at that. So, what did I do next, you may ask? Well, I sniffed you real good. And that's when I knew you still had a chance at life. It's a bit of a shame. I mean, if you had been dead, I could have escorted your soul to the underworld, but I guess it just wasn't your time yet. Despite being puny and weak, you managed to pull through, which I'll admit is pretty impressive. Anyways, it was clear that you wouldn't be able to survive much longer without my help. So I carried you to my burrow. I think you have a bad case of frostbite. You should be more careful, human. These grounds get very chilly at night, and your weak human body isn't adept to handle it. I mean, there's a reason the only humans here are six feet under. I thought your kind understood that, but I guess it's hard to accept how fragile you really are. It's so sad, you poor, weak human. But don't worry, I'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. What's important is that I'm here and I'll make everything better. My fur and paws are extremely warm and soft. With my body and skills, you'll be warmed up and back to normal in no time. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Now, human, you're going to be okay. Just lay down and let me caress you with my tail. It's infused with warmth and should make you feel nice and toasty. Don't worry, I'll make sure it's not too hot. I know human bodies are extremely sensitive.
How's that? Much better, right? Yeah, you're warming up nicely. <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? My tail, of course. I mean, no human could possibly possess such magic. <laughs> you must be in complete awe. You're speechless. Well, don't worry, human. You're all better now. Well, mostly. I can sense some parts of your body are still a little cold. It's best that we tend to that quickly. You wouldn't want to lose a finger now, would you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only kidding. You should be fine. Now, let me use my paws this time. Mm-hmm, that's right. I should be able to warm you up a lot quicker with those. There we go. All nice and warm. Do you feel better now, human? Good. I'm glad I was able to help. I'll admit you humans are more high maintenance than I thought. Or maybe I'm just a little rusty. I don't know. It's been a while since I've warmed up a human. Most people stay away from this graveyard. They say it's haunted or something. Now that I think of it, I was meaning to ask you, why did you come here? Ah, visiting a loved one. Late at night, that's a little weird, but I suppose it makes sense. It is something that you humans tend to do. Well then, since I'm feeling extra generous, why don't you tell me the name of the person and I'll make sure their grave is well tended to? It's no trouble at all, really. I've got lots of time and unlike you humans, I'm strong and full of grit. <laughs> no need to thank me. Hmm, what's that? You think I'd make a good pet? A pet? Oh my, human, what a bizarre thing to say. No, no, no. I'm much too powerful and wild to be a pet. Also, I believe pets are typically dependent on their owners. I don't need to be taken care of. In fact, I'd argue that humans are much more suited to be pets. I mean, think about it. You're weak, sometimes easily scared, and you have no magical powers. You definitely need someone to take care of you more than I do. 
Wait a minute, human. I just had a genius idea. Why don't you become my pet? I mean, you clearly need my help, and I have no problem taking care of myself, let alone another being. I mean, it's clear that you are defenseless, and I'd hate to see you get hurt again. You can live here with me, and I could keep you warm and take you out on adventures. Oh, please, human. It'd be so much fun, don't you think? Hmm, you seem a little uncertain. <sighs> well, I'll admit I'm a little hurt, but that's all right. You must just be too weary and tired to make a decision right now. Hmm. Why don't you sleep here tonight and tell me what you think in the morning? It's cold, so I'll keep you warm with my tail while you rest, okay? Good. Now, close your eyes and relax. We'll talk more in the morning.